Hey guys, Dr. Laura Sung here, board certified dermatologist. In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys everything you need to know about topical retinoids. Retinoids are powerful compounds derived from vitamin A, and they have a ton of benefits for your skin. They work to normalize the skin cell turnover, which helps with acne, skin texture, precancer changes. It also increases collagen production and helps to block melanin synthesis to decrease pigmentation. Benefits do take time. Some studies suggest you can see improvement with the skin within three months of regular use. There's four main types of retinoids that can be used topically on the skin. This can be broken down into over-the-counter molecules, which are things like retinal esters, retinol, and retinaldehyde. And then you have your prescription strength retinoic acid. The first three are all precursor molecules that need to be converted to retinoic acid in order to be active on the skin. Retinoic acid is the most specific active form of topical retinoids. Examples of prescription strength retinoic acids are things like your adapalene, tretinoin, triferritine, and tazeratine. Tretinoin has the most evidence for anti-aging, while the others are more common commonly used for acne. Since retinal esters, retinol, and retinaldehyde have to be converted to retinoic acid by enzymes in the skin, they're less irritating, but also a little less potent, but they can still provide you with some of the benefits of prescription strength retinoic acid. Now, topical retinoids can have some side effects. The most common we see are redness, dryness, and peeling. Some people apply too much too fast and they end up with retinoid dermatitis, which is an irritation type reaction. I usually recommend the go low and go slow approach. Use only a pea-sized amount for the entire face and be careful around sensitive areas like your eyes and your neck. You want to start only two to three days a week like Monday, Wednesday, Friday and then gradually increase to each night as tolerated. I also like the sandwich method which is helpful to decrease irritation so that involves applying a layer of moisturizer first, waiting a few minutes, putting your retinol on, waiting another few minutes, and then putting on another good thick layer of moisturizer. If you're using topical retinoids for acne, a lot of people can experience this purge effect where you develop a really bad acne breakout. This is normal, but it can last a few weeks and can be pretty frustrating. Just know that it will settle as you use the retinoid. A few reasons not to use topical retinoids are if you're pregnant or if you have active eczema in the area that you plan to apply it. If you're using another agent like a chemical exfoliant such as alpha or beta hydroxy acid, make sure you're scheduling them so you're not applying them on the same day. Now that we've covered kind of the basics of topical retinoids, let me share some product recommendations suitable for various needs, experience levels, and your budget. I usually go with a retinol or a retinaldehyde for those wanting an over-the-counter option. A few that I think are reasonable quality and decent price would be the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol, the Olay Regenerous Retinol 24, or the Rock Retinol Correction Capsules. For retinaldehyde, I really like the Aven Retinol Cream. If you want to step it up to prescription strength, then tretinoin is really the goat of topical retinoids. It's available in various formulations, including a micro-encapsulated formula like Retin-A Micro, which is thought to be less irritating. Adapalene is another great option, if, especially if you live in the US because it's over the counter, relatively inexpensive, and it's available as different gel or Effaclar. These can be used for both anti-aging or for acne. Now, make sure you guys remember, when it comes to retinoids, patience is key. Consistency is also really important. Start with a product that matches your budget and that you can tolerate. And if you're uncertain about which product is right for you, don't hesitate to consult with a dermatologist. We can provide personalized recommendations based on your skin type, your concerns, and your goals. Well guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one.